Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do my spring clean and decorate. So for spring, I am thinking neutral tones, um, muted tones in the main areas of the house. Sorry if my voice sounds a little bit weird. I am getting over the second cold that I've had in two weeks. I avoided getting sick for months and months and months, but the last two weeks I have been sick back to back. But I'm feeling better. The voice is the last thing to come back. Also, another disclaimer, there's gonna be construction noises in the back because they are building the house right behind ours. But I am joined by Brooklyn. We are gonna cozy up our space for spring. Like I said, I wanted to do a neutral muted tones. That is the most coziest for me and it's something that I won't get sick of. So uh, we're gonna start in living room, go to the kitchen, do a little something in the front entryway and then head up to Brooklyn's play area and that area is gonna have a little bit of color. So if you guys enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up. That really helps on my channel, but let's get started. First things first, you can't start one of these videos off without a little spring ambiance on the TV. This picture is kind of everything, all the florals, just complete cozy vibes. Funny enough, we are gonna keep the fireplace pretty bare this time. I have the greenery up there that I usually have from Hobby Lobby. I may add in a few eggs, may not. We'll see, but we're gonna focus on the couch and the, um, Brooklyn's right there. We're gonna focus on the sofa and the sofa, um, the, coffee table. So here are the items that I've pulled um, for this area. I have a few eggs that I may use on the fireplace. I have a little grapevine, um, what do you call it? A grapevine carrot from Walmart. These pillows and the pillow covers are from um, Amazon. I thought that would be really nice. And then I have this cute little bunny pillow which will kind of go with my fuzzy ones that I already have. This is like one of my favorite pieces that I picked up this year that's from Hobby Lobby. So keeping it really minimal, but just cozy and cute. Hey darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey darling, we could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand Hey, darling I love it when it's me and you on the road with a couple of tunes in a car for two Hey darling You know we're gonna have a real Okay guys, so that is it for the living room area. Just nice and cozy. I am loving all of these neutrals. They just make my heart so happy. Just added those few pillows to the sofa. Um, I love the fluffy ones. They make it cozy. Those are from Walmart and then the striped ones are from Amazon and then I kept the mantle very neutral later on you'll notice I will add some eggs But besides that I just kept it really neutral and Brooklyn is already in the kitchen area and she has started um, Cleaning in there. So let's run in there and let's get started. Okay, we are all done with the living room. You see Brooklyn's little bunny ear. She loves helping me with this stuff, so I take the help when I can get it. Um, now we're gonna go on to the 
kitchen right behind me. So we're gonna do just add little tiny touches there, little tiny touches to the table, and then we will make our way upstairs and we are almost done. I do have still the front porch, but that will either be like an Instagram story that won't be in this one because I have to run to Home Depot and Lowe's to pick up some plants. But let's get started on the kitchen. We're gonna get started with the kitchen area. Let me give you guys an overview. I did do a haul that tells you where I got everything from. But we have these two little plants. These are from the Target Dollars, the uh, Threshold, sorry. They were $5. We're going to wipe down everything with this multi-surface cleaner from Mrs. Meyer. Smells so good. Bunny, Moss Bunny from Hobby Lobby. This is uh, from the Target Dollar Spot this year. That is from Michael's a few years back. Target Dollar Spot this year. A candle from a local shop near us. We've already burnt it, but we're gonna style it in the kitchen and it smells really good and we have more to burn. This is from Home Goods last year. Target dollar spot this year, only three bucks. That's from the Target dollar spot years ago when their cutting boards were like $3. And then this is a little grapevine um, carrot and that is from the Target, not Walmart this year. But that's a little overview. Brooklyn's gonna help me um, do you want me to wipe everything down or you wipe it down? I wipe it down. Okay, Brooklyn's going to wipe everything down and then we're going to start putting stuff together. Let me go back here because we already started a little bit. I created this first little vignette with um, these Easter eggs, a little bit of moss. That was from a big bag I got from Hobby Lobby. And then back here, this little pretty tea towel striped. It kind, it kind of plays off the stripes that I do have in the living room since we have a big open floor plan. That is from Amazon. And that's a hearth and hand little um, tray that we've had. We got it when we moved in this house. I had it before, but it broke before we actually moved, but I got a new one when we moved here. So let's get started, guys. Had more of your smile. What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Mm -hmm. Maybe the birds will sing about your heart. Maybe the trees will whisper the word. Maybe the sun. Spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope That is it the kitchen is all done just nice and sweet little Easter touches I'm loving it I feel like this season my color comes from all of the greenery the little um, moss rabbits and the uh, faux plants I feel like that's giving me color and that coziness but I'm loving all the green the white and just the textures and I think it looks very pretty and extremely cozy for this spring season. Hey guys, now we are at our last stop, Brooklyn's Play Area, and we're gonna add a little bit of pastel coloring to make it look fun. Anything you wanna say? Um, no. Okay. So we're going to add a little bit of color and make it look really cute. Um, I will do a playroom tour. A lot of times when I do decorate this area, everybody's like, where are the toys? Like you see the big house, but everybody's wondering where the toys are and they are hidden in bins. So yes, she very much, all of this, even this little console here, there is 
storage for art and all that stuff. So it is a very functional play area, but it also looks aesthetically pleasing. But let's get started with the decorating. What's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. Pack our bags and get in that car. Real far. Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life away So guys, we are done with all the cute, pretty stuff. I just need to change out the curtains up here. When we first moved into our house, um, I just, for the play area, I just used curtains that we had from our Cali house. These ones were actually in Brooklyn's old room. Um, but I want it more like of a crisp white. We were at Target the other day and I picked these up for $14 each. Um, they had a bunch, they're the Opal House brand, they had a bunch of their like drapery and that kind of stuff on sale. So yeah, such a good price and we're going to add these. The ones that are up there are more cream and I want it more of a fresh white. So let me take you guys close, closer and I'll show you. So you can see, which it's hard to tell on camera, but when I hold this up you can tell this is a fresh white and that's more of a cream. Be wrapped around your arms instead of being lonely we could be gazing at the stars but now it feels just like i wandered off into a room and closed the door behind me i never gave the key to you even though i wanted to i should be trying something new but now my body's aching I'm tired of dwelling in the dark, it's just that my heart can't take it I didn't know what it would cost me when I let you go I feel alone, and I'm just singing mm, mm, It should have been you Another time, another place, I just know mm, It could have been you What a crime and what a shame to let go so guys, let me give you a final tour and overview, overview of the play area. We kept it nice and simple. So here we have this little Easter sign. It's like a marquee sign that like lights up. If you guys can see a little bit closer. Over here, I always love decorating this blanket ladder for each of the seasons, but we have, we added a little something something to the reef to make it more springy. We have her little Easter um, little baggie there. And then she made two little vignettes down here. We have this pretty Easter bunny pillow. And then I am loving the sheer curtains. Sorry about the lighting, guys. And then just kept it simple on the sofa, that area. And then over here, we have her two little bunnies, her cute little teapot, her tea towel when she plays, like all of her kitchen Easter stuff. But that's it. It looks really cute and yeah. sweet.
Hey, that is it guys. We want to thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give a what? Thumbs up. And we will see you guys very soon with another spring video. Bye. Bye.